Hello gamers, it's Soft Kitty 99 and today we're in House Flipper and I would like to begin by reminding you that we did a little bit of decorating in the last episode. We put the tiling on where we're going to put the kitchen area. We've done all the walls in our paints. We've used the shades of brown and cream and then we put all the curtaining in and the blinds and things at all the windows. So we completed the um, we completed the bathroom area and we've even put the new Halloween kitten in the window and we've used some of the new items a new toilet and a new shower in this bathroom and that leaves us now with oh, stop clicking the wrong buttons kitty the bedroom where we've got an open blank wall and we've got the brown curtain treatment. Um, there's not a huge space in this bedroom, so I'm thinking that a double bed probably isn't going to work terribly well. So I thought maybe it would be best to make this for a single person so that we can use a slightly smaller bed. Because um, I really don't think the double beds are going to fit very well, are they? So I mean, if we try and put in a double bed, in here we've gone for the very sort of brown colors haven't we so maybe we go for the really dark brown um and go for the stripes maybe if i try and put this in i suspect it's just going to be that much too big you see if i put that on the end wall it's just there's no space for the door to open really it just doesn't seem to fit very well and if we turn it here try and put the double bed in. Is there going to be enough space to... Actually it probably will work, won't it? If we put the bed there then we're going to want some um, little units at the side. So we're going to want bedside tables. Bedside table. Those little things. So we could use the, the little tall one or the little I quite like those. They're quite, um, quite manly and stylish, and they really kind of match the feel of the bed. I think make that quite close to the bed and as close to the wall as we can fit them. Yeah, that actually works quite well, right? So above the bed, I think we need a painting. Uh, the Autumn Lake one might might work with the colour scheme. Uh, also the rocks might work with the colour scheme. Uh, or the horses. Where's the horses? Or the horses. All of those three I think would quite work with this colour scheme. I think I might try the rock. Uh, there's two so the photo, that's quite small, isn't it? And the picture one is quite big. How big is that? What do you think? I think that might work if oh why won't it ah, there we go i was a little bit too far from the wall for it to fit that works quite well doesn't it right lamps on the bedside table so lamps standing and bedside ones i quite like these square ones for these bedside things um, the bigger one or the smaller one maybe the smaller one might have to move a little bit closer to get those to fit one there and if we can position it carefully and then turn it on and turn it on how does that look that actually looks rather cute i quite like that and that makes it functional and then this big wall that we've got here with the brickwork on it we can possibly sneak a wardrobe uh wardrobes have been under cupboards aren't they because they've they've rejigged some of the um settings and the locations of things i'm not 100 percent sure that everything's in exactly the same place uh oh wardrobe charles and in the dark Yes, that's in, in keeping with the style of the furniture we've already got here, doesn't it? Right, let's rotate that. So, oh, that's the back. We want the front. So, do we place it right in the middle? 
or do we move it? it needs to be slightly further forward, doesn't it? Now, if we come from the door, how does that look? Yeah, we've got enough space to get through. And then I think a cabinet or something may be underneath that window and then I think we're probably done in this room otherwise it's going to be overpowered by the amount of furniture we've got. So on something in this sort of style. Yeah that's the same that's the matching isn't it? Yeah that's the matching one isn't it? Yeah. I think that's the one that matches. So if we try and position that under the window and how far forward does it need to come to? Right, how does that work? Do we have enough space? Yeah, we can walk past that, right. And there's that position for the window, it's not too bad. I think that will work okay. And then of course if you want some knickknacks you can put them on top of here. So let's think, what sort of knickknack things do we have? So decor decoration or other? Decoration is... So we've got vases. What would we have collected? Maybe maybe something like a a vase perhaps? How tall is that? So if we put a vase and then look into other, see what else we've got. Let's see what we got decorative in here. Don't think the swan type thing fits very well. There's not a lot of decorative items in there, is there? Um Decorations of vases. Hmm. Do we really not have anything else, really? So let's have a picture. And No, we've got toy with your toys. Where are the toys then? If they're not under other, as we had all those children's toys, didn't we? So if they're not under other, occasionally it's just the festival things, isn't it? We could have another black cat. We've already got a black cat, haven't we? Could have a snow globe, Christmas snow globe. Let's put the Christmas snow globe on. Yeah, that's enough items, I think, for decoration in here. So that is actually our bedroom quite quickly completed, isn't it? So there's the bed and its accessories. And the drawers to put your clothes in and your wardrobe to put your clothes in. And that is basically all you need for a bedroom and the bathroom's already completed and that then just leaves us with this huge open space now we added a fire and a television and we said we'd put in a kitchen over here so I think we'll start with the kitchen so let's go for kitchen now we don't have a huge space for the kitchen itself Do you know what I think we need to start with a fridge So we go for the, the direct brown. How about orange egg? No, green. Are we green? Because we've got green windows. Uh, green window treatments, maybe. And the sockets are there, so that would actually fit quite well. So we want the fridge first in this space there. There's our fridge, and then we want a little bit of counter space. So, I could put a cooker in, but I think what we want to do is go straight for a counter space. So, what we want to do is go kitchen, and we want a little counter space. So, I think we need a. Oh, we're going to want a. 
We're going to need a sink, aren't we? And we're going to want... I think all green would be a maybe a bit much. How about that? Cream bases, black tops and green doors. So we pick cream, green, green. And we put... Actually, I think it would be better maybe to start with something that's not a sink in the corner. I don't want the sink right in the corner. So, double unit. So we want cream, green, green. And then we want to start by the oops right I want to be as far back okay as we can get so I'll look at all yeah and then we want by many No. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, aren't I? Right, so that's three. And then I think we're going to want the sink next. So we want the sink unit. So we want cream, green and green. And then we need to rotate it around and link it up. With that and then can we get an extra one in here or should we put I wonder if we can get a full one in can we get another full one in cream green green by now oh I think we can get an extra one in I don't think that's enough space for a half unit we will try it but I don't think it is enough space for the half unit Cream, green, green. I really don't think it will oh, fit. No, not quite. Just that little bit too small. So there we go. So oh. there we go. Right. We need to go to the kitchen. Now we use green. And we use the hanging unit, and we'll put one there and one here so one at either side of the window space check there I think that needs to be a tiny bit higher that looks about right to me now I wonder if we can stick a bin in that little space. I think that might be under other, don't you? For those little bin things. They used to be under here, I don't know whether... Oh, where have they moved them to? Yes, where have they moved those to then? Kitchen, perhaps? No? So where are the bins? Accessories? Accessories. Oh look, books, kids, clocks, containers, kitchen, bins. Accessories. Oh yeah, so yeah, that's that's better, isn't it? Uh, orange, wood, grey, white, dark, not white. Hmm. All that. Do we have space for that? Actually, I don't think we have space. Oh, it does. Just fits. Um, so we've got the utensils in there. Um, 
knife stand. Let's put that over here. Where should we put the knife stand? Here, actually. And rotate it so it's facing this way, like that. And a chopping board. Turn that round. Slightly forward. Like that. Then we want the um, kitchen. We want the... No, we want electronics, don't we? Because we want that cooker top to go under it here. And of course we'll need to rotate it so that the fixtures are at the front. Yep. What are we missing? Accessories. Yes, so that's actually the right thing. So the trash bin, you want one of the ones, the flip top bins for inside a kitchen. Will that fit in the little gap? Yes, beautiful. See, that's perfect, isn't it? And then I think we want a kettle. I think I saw a kettle. There's the kettle. There's the kettle. Can't put it on top of there, but we can put it here, I think. There. I think that works extremely well for a tiny little compact kitchen. It's got everything you need for your basic stuff. Uh, I might be a little bit worried about that being a bit close to curtains though. So you might want to move it. Oops, moved the wrong thing. Oh no, not the unit. The block. If we move the... Uh, because I think it was a little bit too close to the curtains, I think if we put that there and then we move the chopping board. So use the chopping board over that side and then the kettle can go here. I think that's better because that's further away the, for the gas. It's further away from the curtains. You wouldn't want real curtains here if if your cooker was over here. You'd want this to be blinds, not curtains, because you don't want the curtains to blow into the gas cooker. So it makes me more comfortable to have it a little bit further away. I know it's all make believe, but it just feels so much better to have it moved away like that. So that is my little kitchen area. And I think I'm quite pleased with that. So I think that that's a good spot to finish this episode on. So we've done the bedroom and the kitchen area. And then in the next episode, I think we'll be able to finish the house off by finishing off this open plan living area. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!